So really, what, what do you think is a, you know, an appropriate baseline pizza? You know, is it just a cheese? Just plain I think, cheese? Or see, uh, I, it, there's a lot of factors when it comes to pizza because there's a lot of different ways. Right. I mean, I guess if I had to choose one, I do gravitate towards more of a New York thinner crust. Thin, thin, thin but crust. It, it is everything for me. It's, it's the, yeah. it's, when it comes to cheese, it's the cheese to sauce ratio. It's the flavor of the sauce and then the crust. Right, right. Well, that that's down more to uh, a you know after we've tried kind of thing. Yeah. I'm talking about do what type of pizza are we gonna get? Is it a pepperoni pizza? Because right, we want to get the same kind of pizza from all three places. Right. right. Yeah. Is it, so is it a pepperoni? Is it a sausage? Right. A cheese? Yeah, I can do. I, no, I typically do like meat lovers, pepperoni meat. sausage. I can do vegetables, everything except for uh, mushrooms and olives. That's when yeah. I throw pizza. Out yeah. No, I, I, I understand. <laughs> what, what about just like a basic uh, pepperoni? Keep yeah. Kind of basic, yeah. So yeah. That's what I'm wondering. Yeah. You totally yeah. do that. You think? So I, I like more than know, just cheese. So, yeah, I like. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like yeah. the meat lovers and so forth too. Yeah, but we want to keep it Universal simple for all these. right for all all the same. So either all like sausage or pepperoni or yeah. all cheese. Yeah. So you know. So I think uh, it seems like uh, pepperoni is pretty universal pepperoni. for the three of us. Yeah, that's what when I owned my pizza place. Yeah, that's I mean pepperoni hands down was the number one. Yeah. So okay, cool. I guess we'll. Pepperoni. Well, let's go get some start pepperoni. with Hungry Bird here. Hey, folks. Old guy is here. I'm out of the kitchen in Paonia, and I'm joined by Matt and Arthur from Disposable Cinema. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. So, hey. And they're going to join me on this little pizza quest. Um, we're going to go to the local pizza eateries <laughs> and try all three of them over this week. And uh, I'm going to bundle it all up into one nice little package. And that's what you're watching now. So we're starting here with Hungry Bird. <laughs> and, uh, we all ordered our pizza. It is pepperoni. We figured that's going to be a good baseline uh, pizza. So we are ordered up and we are just waiting to pick up. And I'll be back once we've got pizzas in hand and we're ready to say something else. And smell it. And smell it. It's making me taste it. Salvolating. Salvolating. That's a word. Don't get any I've been me. up all night, so yeah. <laughs> Words. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> Let's give them a good flip around here so everybody oh, can yeah. get a look at our, oh, our, I got our pizzas. Yes, look at that. Uh, uh, yep, yes. smells good. So, first of all, the crust. Man, you said you like it thin, the New York style. Yeah, and that, you know, that's my favorite, but I'm also, you know, I grew up in this town, and we never had until Louis opened New York style pizza. So I can I can go I can dabble when it comes to crust sizes. Thin crust New York style is my favorite though. Mine too. The thin style crust is what I grew up with. Yeah. Now this the texture, the way the crust is, that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, it's that, for me. It's how thin he can get it. Yeah, at that and yet point. it has that still that crunch and a little bit of chew to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the chew is the part I like the most, especially when it comes to uh, thinner pizza crust. Mm -hmm. One of these days, Tom, because you obviously have experience, you need to teach me how to eat with a beard and a mustache. Because <laughs> I, I, I don't have a napkin, and I'll probably you can. 
one. You can use me for a bad example. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, the sauce on this one. No sauce, yeah. That's that to me is the money maker right there. Yeah. The sauce. Josh uses the San Marzano's. Oh, okay. Your Italian tomato. Hmm. And then you know the cheese. I mean, cheese often goes underrated for mm -hmm. you know. And I don't know what type of mozzarella he has, but that's also really good. It's not that kind of cheese that you pull away. It, it, you it, have it, a freaking cobweb sticking out of your mouth. Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of any real pull to it, mm -hmm. but it has a very creamy texture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the flavor between the sauce and the pepperoni. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that he has a perfect coverage of pepperoni across the whole pizza. You know, we didn't yeah, have to ask for double pepperoni or anything to get that coverage. It's, you know, it's just that. Pepperoni. Yeah, it's, it's, really yeah, it's not that. one of those where yeah. you're going to have one slice that has like half of a pepperoni. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah this, it, it might have a pepperoni, half a pepperoni, and about five others with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's getting good coverage right. for, for what you're paying. It's not heavy in grease or anything. Yeah, I was about to say the uh, pepperoni itself. It's pretty, yeah. well, pretty good quality pepperoni. It's not. Yeah. Some 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 places use a pepperoni that I can't stand because it almost has like a gamey taste to it. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Alright, crust is really good too. You can taste you know, the wood fire in the oven. Yeah. Crust. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and that's, a, that's an interesting thing. I, I've always kind of gotten the short end on the stick everywhere I've gone. Wood, wood, I've always avoided wood fire pizza because they just, it, you can taste the charcoal in every bite. Mm -hmm. Somehow he pulls it off. I don't know. Yeah, you know, these pizzas, these pizzas are done in like six minutes. That's awesome. All right, well. So you have, uh, you have your own rating system. Old Man Grunts. I have my Old Man Grunts. And you've done this place before. This is your second or third review? This is my third review. Uh -huh. mm. So, mm. <laughs> and nothing has changed as far as um, how many Old Man Grunts I'm going to give this pizza. <laughs> it's going to be 10 out of 10. Old man grunts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, I was very honored when uh, you invited me to do this because this is my favorite food. But I'm not a picky eater, but when it comes to pizza, I really kind of turn into a snob. And I remember specifically when I lived out in LA, I was looking everywhere for the perfect pizza. And I was like, I was shelling out some cash from all these places that had like five star reviews all the way in Santa Monica and I was li living in East Hollywood and I was having Uber to commute just so I could get a good pizza. I didn't find <laughs> one good guy pizza. Cesspool. So, so yeah, for me, uh, pizza is a big deal. And this, I think for me, I, I think I'm gonna go with uh, out of a 10 system I'll do uh, nine out of ten nine my biggest thing is um, as good as the crust is I actually prefer way more pizza to crust ratio but aside from that nine out of ten nine out of ten yeah. that's all right and Arthur I would I would say uh, on a scale of one to ten I would say this is a nine out of ten I think it's fantastic great ingredients great flavors um, I love the wood fired oven aspect to it. Yeah, me too. Um, I'm I'm a big garlic fan, and it's not like we ask for a pizza with garlic, so it's not you know that big of a deal. But you know, just naturally like in the flavors of the pizza, I would like a little more garlic. To come out. Mm. And that, that, that's just no, like a you know, That's why we're reviewing these pizzas, and we're, the next one from here is about a block down the street, Louis Pizza. So we will be back and. Um, until next time, I'm out of the kitchen. <laughs> we'll see you then. Bye. Goodbye.